Hey, what's up guys? Spartan Gaming here, and we are back today on Ark Survival Evolved. And today I'm going to show you guys how to breed dinosaurs, as well as hatch the eggs, and take care of them growing up. Sorry if I sound a little quiet, um, it's pretty late at night, and people are trying to sleep. So, um, as you can see here, I have this ridiculous pen going on for these two brontosaurs, because I'm going to be breeding two brontosaurs, because why the fuck not? Um, so first off, what you're going to need to do is um, you're going to need to have them enclosed in something so that you can enable them to wander because to get them to breed you need to have two of the dinosaur opposite genders of course I have a, a male right there and a female right here um, next you need to have them to enable wandering and they need to be close enough to each other while they're wandering to mate and so this is what this pen is for now hopefully she doesn't completely glitch out of here but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enable wandering on him enable wandering on her and now you see the little emoticon pop up there and you can see that they are mating now so there should be a little mating meter that'll be popping up here there it is and now we just gotta wait for it to go ahead and fill up can hopefully they don't glitch out of this because this is a bit funky of a pen and uh, she's already kind of halfway through it, and I'm hoping she doesn't make her own way out of it. So, no, no. Come on. Don't do nothing unnecessary. Now, Bronco. Alright, come on. And one's level 28, one's level 20. So, um, the egg will inherit some of its stats from its parents. So, try and get them as high level as possible when you go to breed them. So if you have like a level 115 and level 120, say T-Rex, and you're breeding them, chances are you're gonna have a pretty fucking good, uh, pretty fucking good egg. So um, that's pretty much how you're gonna make some super dinosaurs if you really want to get into it. All right, mating progress is about halfway now. Come on, hurry it on up. Now here's a thing you always want to be really prepared for this. So um. If it's a carnivore, have a lot of meat on hand. I'm talking a lot of meat. They take ridiculous amounts. Uh, same thing with herbivores. They still take a lot of freaking berries. So uh, just be ready. And make sure you have a room to incubate the eggs in. Um, Want to make sure they're not too hot or not too cold. All right, there we go. There's a female. Come on, Bronco. Bust them out. Bust them out. And... Oh, the egg landed on me. Alright, so now you can see it's uh, right there. Let's see. Is the outside temperature good for it? It is too cold. Alright, so what we're going to need to do now is we're going to open this up. I'm going to go ahead and disable wandering on these two. Disable wandering. Now we're going to go over to our handy dandy incubation room that we got set up over here. And sadly we need to make some more campfires. So that can be arranged. Just going to need to get some more stone I believe. So it's too cold. So here's a little trick. You can actually pick up the egg and the health will not go down and it won't incubate either way. So if you need to uh, you know, pick it up when it's too cold, um, you can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Well, first off, let's see if we can make some standing torches. Need flint and stone. Gotcha. Grab some stone there. And we're going to go ahead and grab some flint. And we're going to go ahead and make, say, three. Go ahead and close that off. And we can see they were starting to glitch out of there. That didn't hold for too long. Now, obviously, for smaller dinosaurs, because yeah, these are bron brontosaurus, you can make a lot smaller pens. Um, but either way, you pretty much want to pen them in. All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and equip this. Throw this guy down. Make sure you don't eat the egg on accident. Place this down. 
Go ahead and light this up. And it's incubating now. So, that is a really good sign. Because that means, oh wow, that's a lot more wood than I thought was in there. Okay. Awkward. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and throw 100 on there. So at this point in time, you're pretty much going to want to just kind of keep a watch on this egg. You can see it says incubating now. It doesn't say too hot, too cold. That means you just uh, want to kind of sit down, sit around and chill out and let the egg incubate. Now it's going to take a while. Um, a triceratops egg took about two to three hours. So yeah, these things definitely take a lot of time to do. Um, this is not something you want to do when you're just ill-prepared and you just kind of want to do it to have some fun. And you really got to prepare for this, otherwise you're just going to waste hours of your time and you're going to kill off these dinosaurs. Now, while this guy is incubating, I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when they hatch um, after I drop off this wood. Matter of fact, I'll drop it off on Bronco real quick. If I could even make it to her in time. And as you can see, she'll be ready to mate again in, I think that was like a day or something. And I can't check her inventory. That's weird. I don't know why that is, but um... We're gonna come over here real quick. I'm gonna go put this uh, wood away. And we'll go ahead and show you what happens after these guys hatch. This will be a lot quicker. There we go. That's better. So after they hatch, you're going to have a huge hassle of constantly feeding them food. Like, you're going to need to spend at least an hour of your time watching the baby and constantly feeding it food because it's going to have a very low health and it's going to have a very low weight. And its weight's going to gradually go up. As you can see, this is the baby triceratops I have going. I've tried a Rex, and I've tried a Raptor, and they both died, sadly. Um, but this has been going for probably about two, three hours now. Um, it's a male now, and um, yeah, it's pretty adorable, honestly. Um, but you start out with about 0.4 pounds, so that's enough for four berries. And you can see how fast that food bar goes down. They are constantly eating, so you have to constantly sit there and just baby them. Get more and more berries constantly. And uh, then they'll go up to their next stage. And uh, at their next stage, you'll actually be able to start feeding them through a feeding trough. So that's where it starts getting a bit easier. I actually have a feeding trough in here. Um, so once he gets a little bit bigger, I'll probably bring him over here. Uh, you always want to keep checking this. Still incubating. You can take it at longer intervals, but it is what it is. Now, for us Xbox One users, I want to give you guys a heads up for the glitches out there because it's happened to me. If your game crashes, or if it exits out, like you click the home button and exit out, your egg will not be incubating. When the dinosaur first drops the egg, it only has a health meter. And the health meter will gradually go down until the egg dies. Now, I don't know what it is about this glitch, but when you reload the game, the egg's going to be on the ground like the, uh, the dinosaur just dropped it. And therefore, that means that it's not going to be incubating, it's going to be losing health. So that means you have to go straight to your egg and pick it up and redrop it for it to continue incubating. Now, it's happened to me, and that's the reason that that triceratops over there almost died. I had very little health, and that's the reason that the, I believe, the raptor and the rex baby died. Because I didn't find out about till the triceratops. So that's some really important glitch to look out for, because you just lose all your health on it. Besides that, you just really need to be ready for it. And, um, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. They'll slowly start growing, and it's going to take a long time. Um, there will be a link in the description for the specific temperatures and the amounts of time each stage takes. I don't think it's too accurate because it's a wiki, but um, it gives you a good idea. But yeah, there will definitely be a link in the description down below. So if you guys thought this video was helpful, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want to see anything. And um, if you want to see some more baby dinosaurs, 
go ahead and let me know down in the comment section as well, and uh, we'll see how it goes, because I'll be having a uh, baby brontosaur here soon, too. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, remember to subscribe to my channel for more content. Uh, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time.